So today is the day where I'm going to use my new garden space and um, I've been kind of waiting because it rained last night and it's been overcast most of the day and the mosquitoes have been terrible. Anyways, the sun has been trying to peek out and I thought, you know what, it's the only opportunity I have um, today to do. I want to plant my corn and my potatoes. I think I can do both here. Plant the corn at the back and plant my potatoes up at the front here. So I'm just going to go over, um, kind of show you what I do. So this year I'm planting the Allure um, sweet corn, which I grew last year and it was fabulous. I love it. I get it from high mowing seeds. Uh, sometimes, in the, well, most of the time in the past, what I've done is um, planted Who Gets Kissed corn um, by high mowing seeds as well. Uh, I didn't, I really like it, but I don't always get a good harvest from it. Last year I did get a really good harvest from the Allure, so I'm going to try growing that again. Um, I'm also in my rows. I'm going to put some squash so that I can use up um, a lot more space. I'm utilizing a lot more space by planting my squash and my corn together. I have kabocha, I think it's called. And I have buttercup squash, which are my two favorite that I really like to grow. And I like making soup out of them and we really enjoy eating that. So I'm going to grow those two squash this year again. And for my potatoes, I got from a friend and they were her potatoes from last year. And um, they're kind of gone wild, seeds gone wild, I guess. And they're red potatoes and I'm gonna plant those as well. So I don't think it's gonna take that long, but next week is a really busy week. So if I don't do it today, I'm gonna have to wait a whole nother week and I really don't wanna have to do that. I wanna get these in the ground as soon as I can. So when you're planting your corn, uh, you want to remember to plant them about one to two inches uh, deep in the soil, as well as around seven, seven inches apart. Now, I don't have a lot of space, and I'm going to kind of cram mine together, and they kind of work out. The most important thing, I think, to remember when you're planting corn, don't just do one to two rows. I like to do four, make a square, because they um, have a better chance of pollinating, cross-pollinating, and things like that. So I've always made it a rule to plant a square when I do my corn, and so far I've had good success with that, um, minus the conditions that you're under, like your rain, your heat, and things like that. So when you're planting your potatoes, it's a good rule of thumb to plant them 12 inches apart or th and three inches deep. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do, it, it's called intense planting because again, I don't have a lot of space. So I'm going to do kind of a staggered planting and I can get more potatoes and more potato plants in a smaller space. And I'm probably going to put them about 10 inches apart instead. And um, one thing that I always thought when planting potatoes, I know that a lot of people hill them, which I'm, I'm still going to hill them up a bit. Um, but I always thought if you hilled your potatoes, it just means you're going to get more potatoes the higher you do your hill. That's not the case. So the reason for hilling them is protecting them from the sun. So I don't know if you, if anyone out there thought like I thought, but anyways, your most important thing is protecting your um, potatoes from getting direct sun. So whether hilling them up with soil or putting straw on them, starting to rain again, but I'm not complaining because we need rain desperately. So our well's getting a bit low. So, well, not a bit low, it's really low. So I'm not going to complain with the rain and I'll work right through it if I have to. So I've did about five rows of corn and you want to leave enough of a walkway for you to be able to walk through and to be able to weed in between. So they're not necessarily the most even lines, but it's okay. So I'm just uh, planting the Allure, as you can see, um, sweet corn F1. And there's plenty of seeds in this little bag. Um, I have these seeds left over from last year. You can see them here. 
and they are a very sweet corn. They're kind of regular in size you'd get at the farmer's market. So I'm going to go ahead here and plant my allure corn. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plant it so many uh, inches apart. Usually I plant two in one spot. I think I'll do it again this year in case some don't come up. They're, it says on the bottom, if you read your labeling on, it says the germination. And the germination percentage on this is 82%. It ranges, um, corn ranges anywhere between 75% and 85%. So what that means is um, however many you're going to plant, only about 82% is actually going to take. So I, I like to overplant. Now if you're really tight for seeds, um, I wouldn't do that. Just go back and re-sow in spots where none came up. But um, I have enough here so I am going to put a little extra in as I seed. And then about every, maybe in one row I'll put two squash, skip a row and maybe put another two. So I'll put where I'm doing my corn in my five rows. I'll probably put about five um, squash seeds in. So what's that going to do? As the corn is growing up, the squash is going to grow on top of the um, soil. And what that's going to do is things like raccoons that love corn, it will come and actually eat the corn right off of your plants. Um, it's going to prevent animals like that from getting to your corn because squash have um, little thorns, little prickles that prevent animals from being able to get into your corn patch. So it's a good idea to use to not only utilize your small space, but also to keep pests away. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plant my squash. Um, I did some buttercup squash over on the other side of the greenhouse. And so I thought that maybe I'd do the kabucha squash here. I think that's how you say it. These I saved from my own plants last year. So I, like I said, I'm probably gonna put about five, probably about five seeds in this little um, corn garden here. So now what I'm going to do, now that I've got my corn um, sown, I've got my squash sown, is I'm going to go and I'm going to just um, cover them up with the soil and they'll be ready to go and then we'll start over here with our potatoes and do in some intense planting. So now that I've got the seeds covered up, it's always a good idea to give them their first watering, just to give them a little bit of a boost. I really enjoy growing corn. I love the taste of fresh corn. It's so different than getting it at the stores, even the farmer's market um, in some places. Um, and it's so rewarding. So rule of thumb what they say, I don't know if it's true or not, but they do say that um, if you're planting, to plant about 10 to 15 seeds per the amount of people in your house. Now, I think I sowed a little bit more than that, but we like to share our crop that we grow. So um, anyways, we did, I don't know how many I planted, but um, I think there's a sufficient amount. And I'm just asking that uh, we get some rain and we get some nice hot sun because um, corn love heat. Is that they like the temperature of the soil to be about um, 60 degrees. I didn't bother and um, 
check the temperature of my soil. It's been so hot lately and so dry that I think we're safe. Um, but we're just gonna, I guess we're just gonna see. We're gonna find out. But I think it's gonna go well. Now let's get started on those potatoes. As I said, they've gone a little bit wild, but um, a friend had given me these. She grew them last year, and uh, we're gonna pop them in our little garden and see how they go. And she gave me two pegs, which I don't think I'm gonna need, but hey, let's see how it goes. So back when we lived in the city and had little um, tiny like square foot gardens, I used to grow potatoes. And what I used to do is I used to just cut off where the eyes were and plant the little chunks. And you can do that. But what I've learned is that it's better off to plant the whole potato. And wherever an eye starts, there's gonna be a new plant starting. So you're better off just to put the whole potato in instead of just cutting it into chunks. So that's what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna do two, one, two, one. And it's just because I have such little space and you're gonna get um, more plants per square foot. So that's why I'm doing it like this. And um, we're gonna try it and see how it goes. Lots of people have been doing it for years and it works out. So when you have a small space, there are ways around of trying to get more food on your property. before I go any further I planted a whole roll of potatoes and I remember that my husband had bought me for Mother's Day some seed potatoes from Norland so I haven't tried these ones yet they're supposed to be good for um, baking or frying um, they're red again like the ones that I got from my friend so I'm going to plant these ones in my second row anyways that's what they look like and there's lots of shoots coming off so i'm going to plant these in the second row and we'll see how it goes see which ones we like better i mean it could be the same but um at the time i didn't um have potatoes so now i've got two different kinds to try out Thank you. 
grinning too much. So it just started to rain as we were putting the last row of potatoes in and I only got two rows of potatoes which is better than last year. Last year I didn't have any but I was really hoping to get three rows in but um, I'm hoping that next year I'm going to have this whole bed or the bed that I'm going to hopefully be making after everything's planted next year dedicate the whole thing to just potatoes. So we'll have a whole thing of corn and a whole thing of potatoes just separately. That's the hope. But anyways, I just wanted to uh, thank you for stopping in here again at Plowman's Backyard and seeing what we're doing, um, planting our corn and planting our potatoes. I also am so thankful for the rain. Um, they're able to get watered in and our well is really low, so I wouldn't have been able to water them. And so I am so, so thankful for rain. I am thankful that it's watering our garden and it's putting water in our well. Until next time, here at Plowman's Backyard, hope you have a fabulous weekend, and I hope that you get your things planted so that you can enjoy your harvest real soon.